What happens when Audi leave the door unlocked in their parts department? Well, their sporty Spanish cousins will help themselves to their latest generation five cylinder engine and strap it into one of their coupéd SUVs, the Formentor. Are they mad or is it a stroke of genius? Well, let's find out together. I'm Matt and welcome back to another Kafari Chimwag. Thanks for joining me back at the Chain and Sprocket. This time we're taking a look at Cupra's fastest car yet, the Formentor VZ5. Let me start by saying this is the second hot SUV I've featured in recent weeks. Check out the Porsche Cayenne Coupe GT here. And it's not because I'm an SUV super fan, but I do really appreciate clever engineering. And what's not such a surprise is that both brands are from the same family, meaning they have access to impressive shared R&D and parts bins. The fundamentals. In the case of Cupra, they may well be celebrating their third birthday this year, but let's not forget they're still fundamentally VW's wildchild brand, Seat, but with more sporty credentials and designs. The Formentor is still a relatively young model in the lineup, with the VZ310 offering the most powerful engine until the Howling 5 got the job for this limited run, left hand drive blunt instrument. The Audi derived five cylinder is the latest iteration and due out in the upcoming RS3 offering a hair more power than in the Formentor, but at 390 PS, the combination of a seven speed DSG and a healthy wave of torque makes this setup an absolute weapon for this sort of package. Only 7,000 VZ5 will be made with only a small number making it to UK shores. The cars will be distributed through a select number of the retailer network with probably only the most devoted Cupra fans purchasing one as they will remain left-hand drive vehicles only. Wayne Griffiths, president of Cupra and Seat said, as we celebrate Cupra's third anniversary, the Formentor VZ5 marks the occasion by using a highly acclaimed five cylinder petrol engine, mixing its superlative performance with an even more sophisticated exterior design to mark the vehicle as the maximum expression of combustion performance for car enthusiasts. What I particularly like about this design is the Formentor is already a unique look and model to Cupra but with the addition of a potent engine and some trick parts, it makes for a really unique and special car. So let's get into a little bit more detail about the specs. VZ5 styling. This Formentor has various clues that it means business, such as carbon fiber touches, a functioning front splitter to aid downforce and airflow to the intercoolers, and just behind the wider rear end, the rear sends an adios message to its victims in the form of a quad pipe system in the familiar Cupra Copper. Let's hope for mapping that allows the exhaust to offer up some nice pops and crackles. Nothing too mad, just a little something to say, see ya, as Cupra say there is no artificial sound enhancements on this car. As we make our way back round to the front of the car, you can grab sight of the large 20 inch exclusive alloys, which make way for the large brakes required to stop this beast. The bonnet is unique to the VZ5 with extra flares and creases too. Another nod to this car's Jekyll and Hyde personality. The front grille has also received some fettling. The black front grille is dominated by the metallic Cupra badge, which helps to draw focus to the reworked front bumper. One of my favorite angles of the Formentor is the front view. The Cupra signature lights have a sleek and sporting appearance. And now the VZ5 has two air intakes just below, adding more character to this ever-growing beast in the form of nostrils. Powertrain and technical. The Formentor VZ5 uses an entirely new four drive system, doing away with the older traditional Haldex unit. This latest all wheel drive system is perfectly balanced to the inline five's performance, ensuring optimum traction can be maintained or broken depending on the driving style chosen. The all new torque splitter is an electromechanical unit that can send power to the side that needs it most or equal distribution for those straight line bursts. This technology allows for a drift mode to be introduced included in the five drive modes too. The suspension is fully adapted for 15 levels of adjustment, plus the VZ5 is 10 millimeters lower than the VZ310, which when coupled with wider track from the 255 wide twenties, that should translate to a very rewarding and dynamic drive. Now all of this grunt needs to be harnessed, especially when carrying weight. Cupra have this covered with their new brake partner, Akibono. They are a brand behind a number of high performance OEM systems, including the McLaren P1. 
On the VZ5, we see 18-inch discs with six-pot calipers on the front and single piston units on the rear. Interior. Starting with the cup bucket seats, Cooper have added some more luxurious elements to the cabin. Available in black, brown or blue, the seats are clad in Nappa leather with an exclusive option called Dynamica. This will feature copper spot perforations and a graduating design that claims to perfectly match the new VZ5 colour, Tiger Grey. No performance car is without dials and displays and this is again where we can see Cooper having doubled down on the VWG relationship. Featuring a virtual cockpit and a 12-inch centrepiece infotainment system, the VZ5 has the familiar tactility of other VWG cabins, with the whole less is more approach to buttons. As Cooper claimed, this helps to have passenger interaction with some of the ancillary controls. Featuring voice control and wireless link for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this full mentor is equipped to help keep the driver firmly in control of the job in hand, while still having access to some funky beats for when a soundtrack is required for the sportier moments. What you need to know. Well, the VZ5 was announced earlier this year, and with its official arrival in late quarter four of 2021, this will be an exclusive car from a brand that is trying to carve out a name in the exclusive spin-off brands. And that is definitely achievable when they're turning out such great cars that can have this sort of impact. Pricing is not official yet, but it's probably safe to say that this will be in the 50K North bracket, as the existing VZ310 is already north of 40,000 pounds. If all of the aforementioned details have pricked up your ears, well, how about one of the headlines? 0-62 in 4.2 seconds. Serious numbers for a car that could be a fantastic all-rounder, albeit you'd have to have a co-pilot for those brisk overtakes on UK roads. All in all, a very interesting car and definitely something that should grab attention given the low volumes. Will it be enough to tempt someone away from the brand that parent this car's engine? Well, I'll let you decide. Tell me what you think in the comments. But for now, that's it for this Chinwag update. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Like it if you enjoyed the video, share it if you loved it and subscribe if you'd like to see more.